Hi everybody, my name is Jasmine Martinez. Woo! How's everyone doing? Good. Alright, so my toilet tried to kill me yesterday. <laughs> my mom's not here yet, they were gonna show up. She's not here yet, so I can make fun of her. Okay, so she installed this new toilet seat, which is like supposed to be really nice for your butt. So you can sit on it and it like caresses your butt cheeks in a way that you can like shit. Oh, it turned off again. Oh. <laughs> well, you can like poop comfortably, right? So I'm excited and I go sit down and like my little world just like slipped out from underneath me. I almost fell off the toilet. I had already started my business. <laughs> so, so I sat down and the whole thing just flew off and I landed between the bathtub and the toilet. So I was just sitting there like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of got up, just grabbed whatever dignity I had left, and I just, okay, finish my business. I have a special relationship with the toilet, okay? It's where I think. It's where I, I type papers on the toilet before. I've done job interviews on the toilet before. <laughs> Good things happen there, okay? It's my thinking place. Now, when you ruin that for me, it's like, you just, come on, no. <laughs> It's weird this thing. Okay, I'm just So, there's a new website that started in Utah. It's called whitepeoplemeet.com. Okay? Oh, yeah. I'm like, just go outside. <laughs> <laughs> You're in Utah. Just open your door. <laughs> there's white people everywhere. So, I'm like, okay. And it was founded by someone in Utah. Okay, and the company like mission statement is we want equal space for everyone to date, but your website is called whitepeoplemeet.com. <laughs> just saying. Okay. And then there's this website called berniesingles.com. <laughs> okay, it's for people who support Bernie Sanders. <laughs> and you go and you sign up, whatever. And then the first day that it was released, the website actually crashed because there was millions of people signing up for this website. And I'm like, that's, you, the, okay, Bernie Sanders, yeah. You don't want to feel the burn when you're dating. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> that's the one time you don't want to feel the burn. You're going to get it in your genitals. You're going to get it in your Okay, don't sign up for that website. <laughs> and you know, dating websites, so it doesn't work for some people, it works for other people. I was tindering for a while. Clearly it worked, because I have a boyfriend and he's over there. Oh. It took a while. I had to meet a few crazies, but <laughs> So, like, I don't know what to do. I have a boyfriend now. It's kind of weird to me. never had a boyfriend. That word is foreign to me. <laughs> do I feed him? <laughs> I've been showering more. <laughs> I guess that's good. See, if my mom was here, I'd be like, see, mom, I'm showering now. <laughs> um, and it's just like, well, maybe that's why I was single before. <laughs> and I'm a little emotionally constipated. So it's really weird for me to like express myself. So, yeah, it's because of my parents. They think you're not here. They <laughs> See, they were gonna show up, and we we're gonna like the one show. Like they never come to my shows. They were gonna show up today, and they were like, we're gonna meet him because he's gonna be there. And I'm like, where are you? Not yet. Thanks. <laughs> um, so I'm on a fitness journey right now. We'll call it that. Fitness journey update. I had pizza for dinner yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast today. Lunch today. And I had beer for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well, it kind of, the, the whole beer drinking started after Mexico. That was New Year's. I spent Mexi New Year's in Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> I was there for a week. I only remember like two days. <laughs> I was bar hopping for a week. 
So I was there partying and drinking and drinking. And then at like the last day, I'm like, oh God, I thought I was done. I was like, never drinking yet, never. I get back to Utah, a few months go by. And then let me tell you, I'm kind of Catholic. <laughs> when it's convenient. Okay. And there was this party at a Catholic church. And it had an open bar. So I was like, oh, yeah, there's me, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> so I walk in. And I'm like, yeah. So then the priest was serving shots. We're oh taking selfies with the priest. The priest was handing out mojitos. And like, great. Got pretty drunk. <laughs> and like before, I used to make fun of my family for drinking. I get it now. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> like after a long day, you go home, just have a beer, or two, or five. <laughs> um, but you know, I'm kind of trying to be an ENT right now. It's in the process. I failed the two tests for my next license level. So don't die right now, because I can't, <laughs> I can't really do anything. <laughs> Legally, I can save you, but then I'd get in trouble for saving you, because I did. I failed my tests, so I probably shouldn't tell you that, because then you're not going to trust me. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, our healthcare system's pretty messed up, right? It's like not accessible for people. If you don't have insurance, fucked, and you're going to die. So I was, we were at my house, and then my cousin, she has like three boys. They're kind of crazy. And one of them fell and he smacked his head. She's like, God damn it. He's crying. She's like, God damn it. Again, we don't have insurance. Okay? Don't be stupid. We knocked him again. I'm not going to tell you how to parent, but you're right. God damn it, don't get hurt, stupid. And he's like, no. This kid has fallen down so many flights of stairs. So like, don't break anything or you're screwed, you know. And then Latinos aren't really good at like teaching sex education to their kids or like puberty or like your period. It's just like you go to your mom, you're like, Mom, I'm having these urges. I don't know what to do. She's like, Ew. <laughs> You know, I, it is our first show since last year. It sounds like a long time ago. And Christmas at my house is mostly drinking. And there's a drunk Santa Claus. <laughs> See, we were late to the party. By the time we got there, Santa Claus is pretty drunk. So he stumbles in, he's still putting his pants on. He has a beer in his hand. He's like, hey kids, just like throwing gifts at them. <laughs> I'm over here like, oh no. <laughs> my nephew's like, Santa, I'm like, oh my god, please don't notice that that's your uncle. <laughs> You're just like falling off. <laughs> we were all like, all the adults were like, <laughs> oh my god. Sorry if I just spoiled that for anyone. <laughs> so, you know, Latinos would party, so we do, we drink a lot. Um, you know, I've been doing a lot of soul searching. Not really sure what, I'm in, like, what I want to do with my life right now. I'm an art student. So if you have an idea that's not really taking me anywhere, I can paint some pictures for you. <laughs> um, but then I was like, well, if art doesn't work out, there's amateur night at Southern Exposure. Right. <laughs> 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 so, several sessions there, I can pay for my textbooks, I can pay for tuition. <laughs> I hope that my dad never shows up there. <laughs> that would be weird. He's single, and if he ever shows up and saw me up there, I'd have <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> um, I have notes, that's what I'm looking at. I don't know why I'm still holding a microphone. <laughs> so, you know, like I'm doing my fitness journey, I'm trying to get in shape. Okay. I'm in shape now. Everyone's in shape. Doesn't matter. If you're in a shape. <laughs> okay. Even if you're a square or a circle or a lopsided hair. Okay. Everyone's in shape. 
<laughs> and you know, there's a stereotype that Latinas need to look a certain way, like, oh yeah, curvaceous, whatever. And let me tell something to you right now, okay? <laughs> Just because I'm a Latina, the moment that I'm spicy, burning, on fire. Don't get nasty, that's nasty, okay? <laughs> If you're gonna be comparing me to a salsa, I'm probably like a Kesha. Yeah, I'm kind of a scatterbrain. I feel like I'm a pothead, but I don't actually smoke pot. <laughs> but I have a tendency to smoke. Oh, and by the way, hello, I'm Jasmine. <laughs> that's, I think, that's my boyfriend's dad, right? Hello. Good first impression, right? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> thing in the world, but your shit still smells. <laughs> Everyone's poop smells. Okay? So if you think you're the shit, your shit smells. That's all I have. Thank you.